everyone welcome to Eden's Secret today we're making that old favorite cashmere cream I did promise didn't I so it's not gonna quite look like it used to but it will smell the same as it used to And I just wanted to let you know that my yearly sale, my Christmas yearly sale has begun. If you want to get your Christmas orders in, get them in straight away. So I'm separating off some soap for the topping. And the swirl. Because this fragrance does discolour quite a lot. It It's not dark brown, it's just like a... It's not the nicest colour in the world, but... It's still nice. What am I talking about? So we're adding in the cashmere cream fragrance now. And it's a bit like a lemony cheesecake fragrance. It's absolutely delicious. simple design but I'm hoping it'll look really smart when it's finished I'm gonna do a nice a nice top on it one of my favorite tops this year actually so this part of the soap I'm not putting any titanium dioxide or color or anything in it because it does discolour anyway to a tan not a dark brown but a tan right so I'm just going to divide this by the two loaves until we've got approximately the same in each one Okay, so I've got some titanium dioxide here, which I mixed up with some olive oil in my, in, not my Vitamix, in my Nutribullet. I promised it's the best way to blend your titanium dioxide. So I blended it for about 30 seconds. And we're going to add a tablespoonful into each of these containers. So we're going to just stir that in with a whisk, not whisk it, just stir it. Not quite as white as I'd hoped, but it's fine but I'll probably blend it with a blender anyway because that usually makes it a little bit whiter and this one we're going to add some of that gorgeous passion pink from the soap kitchen which I have absolutely fallen in love with about half 
half a teaspoonful. I think I'll add another half a teaspoonful in there. Okay, so we're going to go in with some pink first and you're not going to see the jug but I'm going to hold the jug up high because I want the swirl to go quite a long way down if I can but you can see this um, fragrance oil does have some acceleration with it. And usually the higher up you lift the jug, the lower down that swirl will go. I'm just going to add some of the white in now. I do actually want I want a topping of the pink and the white just put a little bit more of the white in this side because it's not quite high enough take the clips off I doubt it, but we'll see, won't we? So there's no fragrance in the actual uh, pink and the white because obviously I don't want it to discolour. So as soon as that's thick enough, then I'm going to put some more on the top. So we've got a nice, not a high top, I just want a nice... Um, a nice design for the top, shall we say. Okay, so we're just going to add a little bit of the white onto both soaps. Spread it out a little bit.
Christ was born Oh night Divine Oh night Divine Led by the light of faith serenely beaming The glowing hearts by his crazy Come the wise men from Orient land, the king of kings laid us lowly manger in all our trials, born to be our friend, or oh, fall on your knees. Christ was born Oh night Divine Oh night And Christ was born really grateful that the colour has gone back to that lovely pink and how beautiful does it look with the discoloration of the fragrance it's just like a gorgeous beige isn't it right let's get this baby cut shall we
Okay, so we've definitely got some old school vibes going on here in more ways than one. Smells absolutely incredible. Might not be the best looking soap I've ever made. Uh, but the colour combination's really pretty. The smell's out of this world. And um, I know it'll sell out. Because people absolutely adore cashmere cream. Alright everyone, thanks so much for watching. And thanks for all your support this year as usual. I'll see you all very, very soon for another video from Eden's Secret.